Oh my gosh. Congratulations on this beautiful series. I devoured it in one sitting. Oh, oh my gosh. Your performances are so stunning and truthful. Um, I'm so grateful for it. So thank you. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. That means the world, honestly. Thank oh, you. Of course. Um, this series does a wonderful job at destigmatizing and humanizing mental health and mental illness. Nicola, why was it important for you specifically to create space for both Maggie's joy and pain? Um, can you speak about that? Yeah. So it the the show it was so beautifully written. It was so thoughtful. Camilla Whitehill, our writer, is one of my best friends. I've known her for 15 years. And she is th one of the funniest people you will ever meet. She is electric and smart, but it doesn't often mean like it, that doesn't always translate onto the page. And with her, it did. And I think she wrote such a human, a real mm. human in Maggie. And the the times like it's a show that starts off as like a comedy that has slight bits of drama in it and then sort of ends as a drama with slight bits of comedy in it. Yeah. But that journey was charted beautifully and the friendship mm. was just beautiful with Eddie and Maggie. And it like it it just rips it rips your heart out. I think I think people were some were expecting this like a real fun time sitcom. And it is very funny, but it also she's not afraid to go to those dark places with her writing. And I think that's yeah, really good thing. Absolutely. I mean, it's so true to life. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that it just beautifully mixes the dark and light of life. And just like I said, creates space for both um, in such mm -hmm. a humanizing way. And I think mm -hmm. that's, of course, a testament to the writing and also to both of your performances. Mm -hmm. um, and this friendship that is so complex and at the heart of this show. Um, Lydia, let's talk about sort of the relationship between these two women and can you talk to me about kind of exploring those complexities, especially from Eddie's point of view, because support is so important in sisterhood, but it it, it can't always be reciprocated here. Um, and there's an understanding, but it also doesn't necessarily negate Eddie's pain. Yeah, I think for Eddie, she's very used to being the strong friend and being the supportive friend. And like she finds it really hard to ask for help and as she breaks down in the series and learns how to ask Maggie for help I think it's such a beautiful moment it's such a beautiful transition in their friendship where you see her asking for something and Maggie what she thinks is a very loaded question not to give anything away Maggie is just like of course I can like it's just what because it's so so there's so much weight in it for Eddie she thinks that it will be such a weighted response but it's not because she just has never asked for the help and I think it was really interesting to play and what is beautiful about it and so complex is that Eddie really needs Maggie and you might think that and when Eddie thinks that Maggie needs her, but I actually think like it's just, it's there's, it's so equally, they need each other and Eddie gets a lot out of Maggie as well. Like, and there's an amazing line that Eddie's brother says, which is which is that um, you need people to need you because mm -hmm. it makes you it makes you feel something. And I think that is true for Eddie. I think she suffers from very low self-esteem and self-worth. And she hasn't processed a lot of things with gr grief and her romantic relationship. She's kind of chasing just to feel something and to, to she, she just accept accept something that's not good for her because it's, it's almost a form of self-harm for Eddie. And um, I think with 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 Maggie, she needs Maggie to need her and she needs to feel like she, she she needs to feel just that I don't know it's just about this, this is the way that she feels valued by Maggie and um she understands Maggie too so it's a very it's a beautiful friendship but it's also extremely codependent and it's then it veers into the the notion of it being a bit a bit toxic and I think it's a very sensitive time in your life going from your 20s to your 30s and I think you are navigating these friendships and whether they kind of stand the test of time or you go your separate ways. And I think that's what we see so beautifully in this show is, is will they, won't they at the end? Oh yeah. Oh, that was lovely. Oh, thank you for that. I think it's true. It's like, they're also both trying to discover their strength and vulnerability and kind of mm -hmm. how that affects each other and themselves. And it's mm -hmm. so true. Like we're never, we never stop growing, but like there is that spurt, like, 20s and 30s where you're not sure if you're going to grow together or apart mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. 
and it's true. It's like in any relationship, um, romantic, platonic, familial, whatever. It's like mm -hmm. sometimes we can't always be at tens. Like sometimes someone's at a 10 and someone's at a three and we have to lift the other person up. But we kind of mm -hmm. see when both of these women are sort of needing each other, what's going to happen then. And it's it's heartbreaking, but it's also so relatable. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, it's beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about Nicola. You said you're, you know, you're such good friends with Camilla. Just can mm -hmm. you just quickly talk about the experience of collaborating with not only her, but and for both of you as well, with, with the amazing team behind the scenes, because this mm -hmm. felt like such a labor of love and such mm -hmm. a passion project. And um, yeah, what have you what will you both take with yourselves on next on your other projects that maybe you learn from this collaboration? I mean, it was just, it was a brilliant experience, but it was challenging as hell because we had seven weeks to shoot this show, which oh is God. really short. Um, it, you know, we're cramming so much in and you jump from episode one to episode four, back to episode two in one day, mm -hmm. which is hard. So the people, like we had an incredible crew, like a really incredible crew that worked their asses off mm -hmm. to make things happen and, you know, would stay like do overtime if things needed mm -hmm. to be done and and we like felt the love for the show in it because like a crew has no obligation to enjoy the thing that's being made you know what I mean mm -hmm. yeah but then when they do that that means something extra um and like that like we had like discussions at the rap party with like loads of people like from crew about how much they love the yeah. show and like that meant so really much. doesn't happen very often no um but yeah Rebecca Asher our director is just like heaven she's worked on some of my favorite shows like Arrested Development and Brooklyn Nine-Nine so she just came and just had the most beautiful energy so respectful mm -hmm. and but we couldn't I can't imagine making the show with another director same it's not it's yeah it would it, yeah just the same people that made season one like we just all need to be part of season two because yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we're just a and hopefully more great people like welcoming people into our set and yeah it's like we've really just it's it's just our baby and we've created this family and mm -hmm. all everyone who joined kind of from the, the people who were just there for a scene or a line or, oh my or a day like we just we just really welcomed everyone and it was just made with so much love and I think I think that transcends into into what the viewers see too and you can feel when an energy is like good in a show or or not and it was just such yeah it was made lovely. with such love no, I love that. I love to hear that. And absolutely. I mean, that all shined through, like you're saying, uh -huh. Lydia, I could feel it. Um, I think just from like the first see scene between the two of you, just all of the history that was already so ingrained in your performance and your character, I just knew yeah. that like this was such a collaborative set that felt safe and being able to play because you have to be able to with a series mm -hmm. like this mm. um and it was just beautiful and I'm just like like I said I'm so happy that it exists and I'm so, so much. excited thank <laughs> sorry thank you thank you so, so much. much oh my gosh from the bottom of my heart um but mm. that's my time thank you thank you so oh, much thank you so thank much you. thank you for such kind words